Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Visitor Studio and today I'm going to share with you three ways to create a before after collaborating reveal for all your social media content inside of DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and the first technique that is most commonly used is simply to do an animation on the cropping. So right now we have a clip on the timeline that hasn't been graded. We're simply gonna go over to the color page. We're gonna do our grading. In our case, we're gonna do something very simple. I'm just gonna increase the contrast and increase the saturation just to make the color pop and that we can see a difference. But basically here, create whatever color grading that you would like and then you can go back to the edit page. So now you have your clip that has been graded. What we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate that clip. So we're gonna select the clip old option and we're gonna just drag that on the second track. Now we get this second clip selected and we're gonna go over to the color page again and we simply gonna just delete the color grade. So now if we go back to the edit page, we are left with one clip that has been not graded and the first clip that has been graded. We're simply gonna just keyframe an animation on the clip that is not graded. I'm simply gonna go to wherever I want that animation to start, and then I'm gonna go over to cropping, and I'm gonna drop a keyframe here on crop left. Then I'm just gonna move a few seconds forward where I want my animation to end, and I'm just gonna bring the crop left all the way until the wipe ad cover the entire screen. And now for Blade, we have our animation, we could add some text before after. To do that, I'm gonna use one of the titles available in our free starter pack. So I'm gonna go over to titles, then here video to studio, and I'm gonna scroll down all the way to free starter pack. And then here we're gonna use something from the clean motions. So here we're gonna use backing down. I'm just gonna drag it and put it on top of clips. Then here, I'm just gonna rename it. We're gonna call it before. I'm gonna change the animation length to 0.5. So that's gonna be half a second and we're gonna just bring the position down right there. Then I'm just gonna go to wherever the animation is starting like so and I'm just gonna reduce that text and then I'm gonna select it, old option and then duplicate it to have the second text coming in the frame and here we're just gonna rename that text after. And here you get your before and after. That's the technique that I see most people using, but I think there is a better way to go about it that is more flexible and that will make it easier to show multiple layer of color grading. So if you're ready, let's do it right now. All right, so the second technique is by far my favorite and it also allows to show multiple layer of color grading very easily. So right now we have a clip that isn't graded. We're gonna go over to the color page to grade it. I'm just gonna make some space so we can see our clip. And then here we're just gonna do two layer. The first one going from log to a normal Rec 709 kind of footage. And then we're just gonna add a look on top of that. This is not a color grading tutorial, just do whatever color grading you'd like. I just need to have multiple nodes with different change in the color to have those different layers. So now we're gonna start just by bringing back uh, a bit of contrast. We're gonna just bring a bit of saturation like that. And if we do a before after, as you can see, we go from something very flat to something that got more colors. And I'm just gonna add a new node to my second layer. So I'm gonna do option S to create a new node. And now for the look, we're simply gonna apply a lot. So I'm just gonna right click on it, go to lot, and then I'm just gonna go to film look and apply this one, for example. So now if I disable all of them, as you can see, we start for something that is flat then we have something where the color are a bit more normal and then we have the look right here. Now let's go back to the edit page to create all before and after. And here, let's say I want each layer to be applied every two seconds. So we're just gonna go to two second, make a cut, then go to four second and make a second cut. Now we're gonna go and select all first clip right here, go back to the color page. And then here we can either delete everything or just disable them. So to disable, you can just do command D or you can simply select them and delete as you want. Then here we're gonna select our second clip. And on this one, I just want the look to be deactivated. So I'm just gonna delete that. And we're just gonna keep only the first window. And then we have our third clip with everything being applied. So now if we go back to the edit page, we're simply gonna create a transition between each of those layers. And to do that, we're gonna use the built-in transition inside of DaVinci Resolve and you can get a bit creative with your transition. As you can see, you have a bunch of options here, but generally the transition that will work best are the one that are with shape like those, for example. But right now we're gonna keep using the classic one with the edge wipe, which is gonna take it and drag it here onto our clip. But as you can see right now, the edge wipe is going vertically. So we're just gonna need to select that and we're gonna adjust the angle here to 90 degrees. And now our transition is applied horizontally. 
Then to apply it to the next clip, we can just select the transition, hold option on our keyboard, and then just drag it to the next clip. And now we pretty much have all before and after. The reason why I prefer this technique is that it's easier to have multiple layer in a row, and also you can easily adjust the length of those transition, which will be a bit of a hassle to do with manual keyframe. So here, if you want that transition to take more time, you can just stretch it. Now again, we can add some text. So here I'm gonna go to the free starter pack, to clean motion and we're gonna drag back in down again on track number two. I'm just gonna reduce here the length. We're gonna change the animation length to 0 0.5. I'm gonna change here the text to log. I'm gonna increase the size a little bit and then bring the size and position down. Then I'm gonna hold option and drag that next to the first title. I'm gonna change the text this time to primaries and then we're just gonna repeat that by holding option and drag it next to it once again. And we're gonna change that for style. Extend it a little bit. And here you go, that's how you can present a multiple layer of color grading inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now let's move on to the third technique. Now the third technique is generally better for photography and for static shot. We basically gonna present the color palette and then that color palette gonna get applied to the clip. So here we have our clip already color graded. I'm gonna go over to effect, then go down to generator and I'm gonna bring a solid color inside my timeline. We're gonna select that solid color and then here in a cropping, we're gonna crop the left to 1000. Same here with the right, and then the top and bottom to 500. Now for this clip, I'm gonna to choose to present three colors. So I'm gonna duplicate that solid three times. I'm gonna hold option and drag that above. And then I'm gonna still hold option and I'm gonna drag that above again. Now with that clip selected, I'm gonna to go to generator and I'm gonna pick a color. So we're gonna use the color picker and then here I'm gonna to choose to pick the blue, select okay. And then I'm gonna go back to settings and here I'm just gonna offset a bit the position to put it here to the side. You can choose two of them side by side or have a bit of spread between them. Right now I'm gonna choose to have a bit of space between. I'm gonna do minus 130. Now I'm gonna select the second one. I'm gonna go to generator and pick another color. So here I'm gonna go and pick some orange right here. This one we're not gonna displace the position because it's nice and centered. And then we're gonna select the first one. I'm gonna pick a third color right here, some tone of green, and we're gonna go over to setting and we're gonna displace it to 130. Now, perfect, we have our color palette selected. I'm just gonna select those three squares and I'm just gonna drag them down a little bit. Now, with all of them selected, I'm gonna hit command T on my keyboard. It just apply transition at the beginning and at the end. It's gonna be very useful at the end. If you don't want them at the beginning, you can simply remove them or you can choose to have a different transition. In my case, I'm gonna go and apply maybe something different. Let's go with crash zoom, for example, and I'm just gonna apply that to each of them. And now we have an animation in, and then we have the animation out with the cross dissolve. Now I'm gonna go to wherever I want my animation to start. So here, for example, let's just go a few seconds after the animation in is done. I'm just gonna select my first square, go to video, and then here I'm gonna drop a keyframe on the position. Then I'm gonna select the second square, drop a keyframe on the position again, and do the same thing here with the third one. Then here I'm just gonna go a few seconds forward, so maybe one second, one and a half, something like that. And then we're just gonna place the square on top of their chosen color. So here, for example, with this one, that will be the green. So I'm just gonna displace that around here. So we're gonna move the position like so, maybe drag it a bit up like that. Then here, same thing with the orange. I'm just gonna move it around and place it right here. And then here, same with the blue. Now I'm gonna select all my transition and I'm just gonna reduce them. So the cross dissolve is starting whenever the square has reached its final position. So on our playhead right here. Now we're gonna make a quick adjustment to our clip by reducing the saturation and the contrast to create that before and after effect. So here I'm just gonna make a cut on the clip and with the first part of the clip selected, I'm gonna go over to the color page and then here I'm just gonna reduce the contrast and I'm gonna reduce the saturation. Now we're gonna go back to the edit page and then here we're just gonna apply a cross dissolve. So I can just select this one, hold option and drag it onto our clip right here. Now I'm gonna move the center of that transition by just selecting here the center and dragging it so it's matching right here with the cross dissolve of the square. And now if we play it, as you can see, we have the color palette coming into frame, being displaced at the right spot, and then being applied to the clip. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you'd like to see next, and see you in the next one.
Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.